we're looking at translations and uh, we are told to consider the diagram below and plot the point a accent b accent c accent d accent the image of and then they give us the coordinates for a b c and d and uh, it's the image after it's been translated three units right and two units upwards so here we can see here are the coordinates for a b c and d so let's quickly just write in the correct coordinates okay so we have a is negative four two that's this one there's a b is negative one sorry one negative five that's b c is negative three two so that's this one this is c and then this one must be d so what is this graph going to look like if we translate it three units upwards and sorry three units to the right and two units up okay so each coordinate gets taken three units to the right so here one two three units to the right and then two units up okay so one two so this would be a accent okay uh, for B, one, two, three units to the right and two units up. There we have B. Okay, that is B accent. So we have B accent there. And then C, one, two, three, two units up. Okay, there we go. That is C accent. And then for D, one, two, three to the right, two units up. D would be there. And all we do now, sorry, that is the accent. All we do now is what what was done in the beginning is A was connected to B. Okay, can I draw a straight line there? You'll use a ruler, so your sketch will look better than mine. Okay, C and B was connected. Okay, D and C was connected. And D was also connected to A. Okay, and there you can see there's my shape translated in other words moved three units to the right and two units upwards and I want you to notice that nothing has changed in terms of its shape and its size it's the same size and it's the same shape okay and that is called a rigid transformation okay so this is a rigid transformation where nothing has changed in its shape or its size it's it remained rigid okay so more about that in a later video uh, that's it for this video see you in the see you in the next example